We are back, 849 now, with my, our good friend. There he is. Uh, Bobby Flay. Hey, Bobby. 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 So, wait, before the pandemic, okay, Bobby embarked on the trip of a lifetime, went to Italy with his pal Giada De Laurentiis, where they took in all the local history and cuisine that Italy has to offer. That must have been amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, you can now follow along on their adventures and their new show. It's called Bobby and Giada in Italy. It's on Discovery Plus. Bobby, good morning. Looks like y'all had a good old time there in Italy. I have to tell you, Savannah, it was a very tough assignment, but <laughs> I volunteered. It was fantastic. You know, yeah. John and I have been such great friends for such a long time. John was born in Rome. Um, I'm, a, I'm a total, uh, just obsessed with Italy in general, and so it was just such a great trip. Did, she, did Giada say spaghetti all the time? <laughs> I know. It's hard to keep up with her. She, her I think Giada's favorite pastime now is correcting when I try to actually speak Italian word. I, I got corrected constantly. Yeah. Now, y'all have known each other for a long, long time, Bobby. What did you learn about Giada on this trip that you didn't already know? Um, I learned that Giada is a lot more relaxed than Italy. I mean, she is just, you know, she's smiling from ear to ear. You know, she's got family there. Her mom, Veronica, who's one of my favorite people in the world, um, lives there. And so she just has this, like, you know, different kind of, uh, you know, feel about her. It's like, and I feel the same way. It's like when you're over in a place like that and like work isn't right next to you, it's really a lot easier to relax because you know you can't really go to work. So it's, it's actually a nice feeling. Bobby, we can't. And plus, we eat pizza, pasta, and gelato basically three times a day. So yeah, there's nothing nice. wrong with that. Yeah. We, we can't have you on without uh, you you're cooking something for us. What are you going to whip up for us this morning? What's, what's so, going on in the kitchen? We went to Rome and we went to Tuscany and we and we went out to dinner and lunch and 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 sort of got dressed up and, and, and did the town so to speak in Rome. But when we got to Tuscany, we put our aprons on and we cooked. And one of the dishes, one of the classic dishes of Tuscany, is a, is a wild boar ragu, basically like a sort of like a bolognese kind of um, you know feel to it, a meat sauce and pasta. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing here that you can do at home. It's ground pork, ground beef, some aromatic vegetables like uh, onions and um, celery and carrots. And then I'm gonna add some uh, some tomatoes, some porcini mushrooms, which you'll find a lot in Tuscany, mm. and we'll give it a really fantastic earthy flavor, a little bit of uh, some beef broth, and you let this cook for like 90 minutes or so. It can go longer if you want. Of course, you have to have some beautiful Brunello from Tuscany, some red wine in there to make it nice and heady. And you, and you let that cook slowly for about 90 minutes. It's a, it's a great Sunday night uh, sauce. Over here, I have some fresh pasta that I made, now, clearly, you can make your own, or, of course, you can buy some. Um, but don't forget, if you haven't made fresh pasta before, give it a whirl. I mean, it's a couple of ingredients. It's some eggs and some flour. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. And it's really satisfying. It's one of, the, it's one of my favorite things to do, which is to make some, uh, make some pasta. And so we're going to put the fresh pasta in there. Now, if it's a fresh pasta, it's going to cook very, very quickly. Just the salt and boiling water. Do you need a special Probably machine? About Bobby, if you wanted to make seconds. that homemade pasta, do you need that special machine that you, like, roll things through? Well, you can cut it by hand, but I think that you probably want to have, like, a hand crank machine. Okay. Um, and it's something that, you know, you'll, that will last for a really long time, and you'll get tons of great pasta dishes out of it, for sure. Savannah, have you made fresh pasta before? No. Uh, Negatron. No. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> right. Have you met that's Savannah? Gonna, that's going to be my lesson for you. I'm gonna, have you boiled water? I'm going to give you that lesson. Yeah. So pasta goes right into the sauce. Jump Daddy, come on over here. Pasta goes into the sauce, mm. and then we just finish it up with a little Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese with some pecorino. Oh, you're killing me. A little bit of butter. Yes. A little bit. Look at that. Look at the very that. end. Mm. Is there any wine in that, butter? What's that? Is there any wine in that? Oh, yeah. We have some red wine in the sauce for sure. Mm. Gives it a really kind of good, heady flavor to it. And then you just kind of, you know, you want to make sure that you that you toss the pasta oh. with the wow. sauce. Mm. Then we go right to our bowl. And then Hi, kitty. just go right in. Wow. Hey, Bobby, what was the best, what was the one best thing you ate while you were in Italy? Like the one thing you remember? I'm going to ask you a question. Great, 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 great question. It's a dish that um, is representative of this. Chingale, which is a wild boar. It's a wild boar ragu. The, the wild boar running all over Tuscany, and uh, unfortunately, they end up in a lot of pasta dishes. But you know th that that's that's sort of the, that's sort of the most classic dish that you can um, that you can eat in Tuscany. Little little chingali, some fresh pasta, a great bottle of Brunello di Montalcino, and it's game time. I mean, do you eat any fish, steak, or chicken, or is it just all pasta there? Oh no no no! This, well, I mean, I mean, obviously in Rome, it's you know, such a cosmopolitan city; it's everything. But I. I think in Tuscany, for the most part, incredible, incredible vegetables, 
lots of lots of delicious meat, you know, sort of you know grilled, uh, you know, outside, you know, over wood. I mean, that's really that's really key. If you watch the show, you'll see a lot of we did a, we did we did tons of cooking, and in fact, it's inspired to me to open a restaurant in Las Vegas. I'm opening a, an Italian restaurant in Las Vegas in May, so like. I am, I'm all in on the Italian thing. I mean, Jada, she's got it right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bobby, did you learn? I mean, you are obviously a very accomplished chef. Did you learn anything in Italy during your I learned, eat portion I learned, of Eat, Pray, Love? <laughs> I, you, know, you know what? I, you know, actually, a couple of years ago, Savannah, I went, I went to Rome for six weeks by myself and just kind of lived there as much as I could as a local. Went to school every day, took Italian uh, language class, obviously can't speak many words. And, uh, you'll, you'll see in the show that Giada corrects me every two seconds. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter. It's fun. I love the lifestyle there. And in terms of cooking, I learned so much. Wow. I mean, just just the way that they um, they enhance, just, just the way that they uh, embrace life in general and, and, and also embrace the food. Wait it's a, a much healthier lifestyle. And um, it's all wrapped together with extra virgin mm -hmm. olive oil. So Please take a bite good. of that Thank really you. quickly for me. Yeah. For me, it's great. As we say, grazie, Bobby. <laughs> grazie, grazie. Mange, Yeah. There you go. All right. You can catch Bobby and Jada in oh, Italy. Mm. Gosh, go. I would have loved to be oh. on breakfast. Discovery oh, Plus. Breakfast. Remember when they used to cook here? <laughs> one day. Oh. One day we'll oh, eat again. Yeah. One day we could take the whole show to Italy. And yes. Just eat. Yes. Oh. You know? right. Next like year. It. Let's do uh, it. Today.com slash food yeah. for that recipe. And the show again on Discovery Plus. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.